over there in the corner. Not just any pinball machine. This is the pinnacle of pinball. Cornelius Gordy and the Mountain Goats. It's lit. You can't wait to get your hands on it. The pinball machine. Gordy's Goats, a classic. Oh, it's more than just a classic. A must play. All serious pinballers have attempted a tempo run. A little. Feels like a lot. Too much to play it again. Ah, great. Cornelius Gordy and the Mountain Goats reads the golden lettering on top of the back box. There's a small column of text underneath. The machine is coin operated. Get the game on, finger boy. Those flippers are ready. Above the painting of a moustached man climbing a hill, a column reads, inspired by the legend of Cornelius Gordy, taken on the world's tallest peak, Corpus Windy. The mask legend holds that when the nation is in danger, heroic Gordy shall return and save his people. The theme of the game is to explore Gordy's climb through the perspective of goats and to ascend to the top of the mountain in a time of trouble. The peak of the mountain is at the top of the playfield. All the balls have small goat icons on them and represent the goats as they race up and down the mountain. Areas around the playfield represent Gordy's climb, places he was said to have camped, which the goats can discover get them to the summit. Indeed, think of them as balls. It takes a while to get into a rhythm, but pretty soon you're able to keep three goat-faced balls in play with relative ease. Go, go, finger boy. I feel sorry for the goats. If they only knew the kind of guy old Cornelius really was. The kind of a guy who uses the word savages a lot when recounting his travels. A masked nationalist. An avid huntsman too. He was often photographed in his dining hall, surrounded by wall-mounted hunting trophies from every continent. He also hit his wife and kids. Other people's kids too. Sometimes pets. Hateful little men. But you seem to be having fun. Your game is definitely improving. The jolly goats are flying all over the board, and although a few plummet to their deaths, you're never left with less than three. Suddenly, a special passage leading to the summit slides open at the top of the board. This is where the balls need to go. Maneuvering a goat ball into a position for a perfect hit isn't easy. More fall to their deaths. But finally, the opportunity presents itself. One of them gets through. The words, pale rupture, light up on the speaker panel and the machine starts filling with a thick, milky fog. Something's happening. Congratulations. This is where the game ends. It's a cheap way of getting more money out of the players. A stupid nihilistic finale. There's so much fog, you can barely see anything. Some is actually leaking out of the machine, and one by one, your goats start slipping, disappearing into the milky nothingness. This can be navigated. The balls leave almost imperceptible disruptions in the fog. Use them to calculate where they hit next. You're down to your last goat, going mostly by sound. Eyes are useless at this point, but that goat is something special. Five times you snatch him back from the jaws of death. I am. I've seen it before. Played it too. You will eventually make a mistake and then it's all over. With automation-like precision, you keep the final goat ball in play, reacting to the tiniest stimuli, floating in the flow state. The fog is clearing. And suddenly, the old speaker crackles. Gordy Ball is lit. Huh? A panel opens up at the top of the playfield, and a new ball charges downhill. It's larger than the goats and matte black. 
Cornelius spell the white letters running across the equator. So violent is its descent, it immediately knocks the last goat into the abyss, then proceeds to bounce all across the board as if carried by some demonic otherworldly inertia. High score announce the speakers and the whole machine lights up. Then the flippers retract, leaving a perfect opening for the gaudy ball to join the goats backstage. Cornelius vanishes and the machine powers off. That's amazing. You didn't just win. No one I know has ever beaten Gordy's goats. That is a monumental achievement, detective. Congratulations, your highness. That was really impressive. The machine needs a good service before anyone else can even attempt it again. Yes, good times. Once again, the machine becomes one with the dust and the darkness. Life has left it, unlikely to ever return.